10 Rock Stars That Died From Drug Use A Brief History On January 15, 2018, Irish lead singer of the Cranberries, Dolores O'Riordan, died in a bathtub, drowned while under the influence of alcohol and drugs. She was only 46 years old. Unfortunately for music fans, as well as the family and friends of the victims, too many singers have died before their time, either directly or indirectly because of drug use and abuse. Today, I list 10 of those incidents, some of which have happened in the very recent past, mirroring modern society's epidemic of deaths caused due to drug overdose. Please feel free to mention other singers and musicians you think deserve mention in this video in the comments below. Kindly note, Elvis Presley died of a heart attack but was compromised health-wise by over-medication of prescription drugs. Several other rockers died by suicide while under the influence of drugs and or alcohol, notably Kurt Cobain. The first artist we mention today is Dolores O'Riordan who died in 2018. Authorities were reluctant to release a cause of death when the dynamic songstress was found dead in her bathtub. But finally, word came out that O'Riordan had drowned while having a blood alcohol content of 0.33%. While she also had prescription drugs in her system, those drugs were deemed to be of medical quantities, although combined with the alcohol, would have made her sedated enough to drown. Only 46 years old at her death, O'Riordan was famous for her songs Linger, Zombie and Dreams. Her beautiful voice with its Irish accent will haunt us forever. The next artist we look at is Whitney Houston, who passed away in the year 2012. A megastar of the highest order, Houston also starred in the feature film The Bodyguard which was released in the year 1992 and other movies. The most awarded female singer of all time, Houston is also the only person to chart seven consecutive singles as number one on the US Billboard 200 chart. She too drowned in a bathtub while under the influence of cocaine, with heart disease a contributing factor. Some of her huge hit singles included I Will Always Love You, I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me, How Will I Know and The Greatest Love Of All. Sadly, Whitney's only child, Bobby Christina Brown, was found face down in a bathtub in the year 2015 and remained in a coma until her death a few months later. Her autopsy indicated drug intoxication along with alcohol as leading to her passing out in the tub. The third artist we look at is Michael Jackson, who passed away in the year 2009. The king of pop, MJ, was certainly on top of the musical world for most of his career, despite a couple of bouts with the courtroom over allegations of child abuse, civil and criminal, which he came out of untouched by conviction or decision against him. Jackson died at the age of 50, still on top of the music game, of acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication leading to cardiac arrest. The singer, writer and dancer was being administered for drugs by a doctor in order to help him sleep. The doctor, Conrad Murray, was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and sent to prison for improperly using the drugs. The fourth artist we look at is Prince Rogers Nelson, or Prince, or simply known as The Symbol, who passed away in the year 2016. Another musical writing, arranging and singing genius, Prince had an on and off history of drug abuse. While friends thought he had been clean prior to his death at the age of 57, his autopsy found that he had died of a fentanyl overdose at his Minnesota home. He had sold over 100 million records and won eight Grammy Awards along with his many accolades. Among his hits were 1999, Little Red Corvette, Purple Rain, Raspberry Barrett, When Doves Cry and Cream, his last number one hit in the United States. The fifth artist we look at is Jimi Hendrix, who passed away in the year 1970. Born Johnny Allen Hendrix and later becoming James Marshall Hendrix, Jimi was a guitar virtuoso in the best of the psychedelic era. Called arguably the greatest instrumentalist in the history of rock music by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 
Hendrix complemented his great guitar playing with moving vocals. His death at the age of just 27 came from an overdose of barbiturates, leading to suffocation. Some of his greatest hits included The Wind Cries Mary, Hey Joe, Purple Haze, All Along the Watchtower, and Foxy Lady. Perhaps his most famous performance was an instrumental of the Star-Spangled Banner at Woodstock, 1969. The sixth artist on my list is Janis Joplin, who passed away also in the year 1970. This raspy voice rocker also died at the age of just 27, this time from a heroin overdose. Born Janice Lynn Joplin, but known as Pearl to her friends and family, Joplin was also a child of the psychedelic movement and is famous for some of her hit singles such as Peace of My Heart, Me and Bobby McGee, Cry, Sometime, Ball and Chain, and the voiceover artist's favorite, Mercedes-Benz. In 2004, Rolling Stone magazine ranked her number 47 on their list of 100 greatest artists of all time. Next on my list is Jim Morrison, the lead singer of the band Doors, who passed away in the year 1971. Morrison's death has been shrouded in controversy over the details and rampant rumors of his death being faked abound. Known as the Lizard King, James Douglas Morrison was typical of the rebellious and irreverent rock and roll icons. Sadly, this musical magician left us at the age of 27 in Paris, France, of an apparent drug overdose, but with no autopsy to study. We are just guessing. His gravesite is often visited in the famous Pierre Lachaise Cemetery in Paris, bringing throngs of fans and tourists to the dismay of other family members of deceased people buried there. His grave has been defaced and vandalized over the years. Some of his famous tunes include Light My Fire, Love Her Madly, Touch Me, Riders on the Storm and L.A. Woman. Eighth on this list is Sid Vicious, who passed away in the year 1979. As a member of Sex Pistols, Vicious was on the cutting edge of the punk rock movement. Born Simon John Ritchie in the Lewisham neighborhood of London, England in 1957, he was only 21 years old when he died in New York City of an overdose of heroin in the year 1979. The mercurial Vicious, we see why he took that name, was a suspect in the stabbing murder of his girlfriend Nancy Spungen, and while on bail after his arrest for that crime, got into more legal trouble by assaulting the brother of rocker Patty Smith. Authorities sent him to rehab, which obviously did not deter him from drug use, and incredibly the drug overdose which eventually led to his death was administered by none other than the singer's own mother. Sid allegedly wanted to die and was in the act of committing suicide to avoid going to prison. Number 9 on my list is David Ruffin, who died in the year 1999. Lead singer of the mega Motown group The Temptations from the years 1964 to 1968, Ruffin could be heard on such classic hits as Ain't Too Proud to Beg, I Wish It Would Rain, and My Girl. Born in the politically named town of Wynut, Mississippi in 1941, Ruffin died at the age of 50 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the year 1991. Ruffin's drug use, mainly cocaine, became such a problem for the temptations that Ruffin was fired in 1968 after missing a show in Cleveland. He had decided to attend a show by his then-girlfriend, the daughter of the singer Dean Martin. A planned return to the temptations was ruined when Ruffin arrived late to the show. His drug use continued throughout his solo career and his death was attributed to an adverse reaction to drugs, namely cocaine. The tenth and last artist on my list is Tom Petty, who died in the year 2017. Thomas Earl Petty is the old man of this group, living all the way till the age of 66 before he died accidentally from mixed drug toxicity from a cornucopia of different drugs, including fentanyl, oxycodone, acetylfentanyl, despropiolin fentanyl, temespam, and alprazolam, and last but not the least, citalopram as well. 
in case you know any other rock and roll star that died from drug ingestion from a greater variety of drugs than Tom Petty, please do let me know. Family members reported that Petty had been in serious pain from knee and hip problems and was taking prescribed painkillers that were increasingly ineffective. He had apparently been feeling rather well up till the day before he died. Some of his memorable hits include Breakdown, American Girl, Don't Do Me Like That, Refugee, The Waiting, Runaway Train, I Won't Back Down, and Free Falling, among others. His group was known as the Heartbreakers. If you've been listening to this video for this long, here are some questions that you can answer in the comments if you wish to do so. Question 1. Have any of your favorite stars died from drug use? Question 2. Do you believe all drugs should be legalized? Question 3. Are you familiar with all the people on this list? Do let me know your answers, thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then please do share it with at least one more person. For support donations, tips and monetary appreciation, kindly check out the link tree URL in bio or description below. Thanks for listening and I'll meet you in the next video.